to us Without my bridge and make a light side and guess it's all You got nice calves. Ooh, you got them. Great. You got great calves, man. I have terrible calves. I mean, they are pasty and there's cuts. You talking about jump cuts? You talking about I mean, jumping high? <laughs> people got different taste, man. People got different huh? taste. Because my legs don't heal good. Because I have bad circulation. Because I'm a fat mess. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, you got some stuff going on. But why did the cuts originate? Oh, they are just like I bang my knee against shit. I'm very clumsy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm very clumsy. <laughs> So you're just walking around your house, living your life, just ripping apart your body <laughs> on your desks and furniture. Yeah. Well, that stuff's got to get it's out of better. the way, Nikolai. It better move. When's the last time you fell down? Oh, God. I fell down getting out of bed a couple months ago. Oh, Oof. yeah? Yeah. Was it like a good like a good fall? or Like, I, I had, I had uh, dropped trow right on, like... As I was getting into bed. Uh, oh, okay. That's so good. my my uh, <laughs> wait my um, what? <laughs> my so, underoos so, were on the floor. Exactly. So Matt Matt is Matt is one to sleep in the nude. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in his birthday suit. So sensual. He, in this moment, gets hot. Yeah, <laughs> it gets hot, man. <laughs> Have you ever been under covers? <laughs> <laughs> I feel as if this is would be a very privileged thing to say. But hasn't everybody <laughs> what <laughs> been under covers? I at, mean, at some point. Wow, Nikolai. Oh uh, yeah. You're way right. to assume. Yeah. <laughs> some people, people don't have. Some sleep people on cardboard are in boxes. Secret I mean, agents. but wouldn't even wouldn't that even count as a cover? I mean, technically. So. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> then you all know what I'm talking about. Look, Matt sleeps Which is in the nude, the... and it's great. Okay, everyone? Okay, yeah. I am so sorry. I interrupted your story with my nonsense. Oh, You're no, naked. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nude. And uh, my underoos are right on the outside of my bed. And I was sleeping on my right side. And I was like, all right, time to get up. And I threw the covers off. And I swung my left leg over to, like, place it down. Mm-hmm. And then I shifted my body weight, and my foot just went whap on the underwear. And oh. I just, Are you straight banana peel yourself with your own underwear? <laughs> and I just <laughs> whomp. <whomp-whomp. laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard the sound of 350 plus pounds of body fat slapping oh. against a hardwood floor. But it sounded like a gunshot went off. <laughs> so you just went straight from standing to on your side with your ass in the air. It wasn't so much standing. Okay. It was like Kneeling. half up uh-huh. and like like pushing myself out of the bed. So I was like, I would say I was horizontal or not horizontal at, at a 45 degree. Yeah. And then my leg went out and I just whap. Oh. Were you worried? What did you hurt? Oh, man. Like, my hip hurt the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 30 now. Like, the smallest thing. And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, that's did, so the, did the toe hurt, man? Uh, no, it was more hip. I hit on the side. Oh. Like, it was mostly thigh and hip bone. Mm-hmm. Hip bones connected to the ouch bone. Because <laughs> <laughs> that, that shit hurt. Goddamn ouch bone. I also clapped the berries a little bit, so that was unpleasant. Oh, oh no. You always, oh, no, no, Especially no. if you're in the nude, because they're yeah. rolling around. For, yeah. <laughs> you're out. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Clapping the berries. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear Al typing the title of this week's exactly. episode. <laughs> As we speak. Clapping the berries. <laughs> Oh, we put out high-level content. Was I 100% right? I was writing it down. Yeah. <laughs> it's certainly a contender. All yes. right. Fair enough. Yeah, we don't know what other magic we're going to bring. Exactly. That's true. Uh, Al. N- Nikolai. When was the last... <laughs> Glad we got that out of the way. 
<laughs> Matt, Matt, are you Matt, there too? By the way. <laughs> <laughs> and you can follow us on RLF Instagram at RLF Instagram. Yeah. On Instagram. Who, who the fuck knows how to say these things? <laughs> Everybody else but me. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> when's the last time you fell down, sir? I Oh, the last time I fell down? Yeah, like when was the last time you were walking on the curb and you tripped, but you ate it? You Your body was horizontal. You were on the ground and you did not plan to be. You did not want to be. Um. <clears throat> now, it doesn't necessarily have to be the last time you fell down. Maybe we could just go with a time you have fallen down. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> Or are you perfect, no, sir? No, no, not perfect. Are you, are, you, are you pitching a perfect game right now? You've oh. never fallen once? No, I've fallen. A bitch. I'm just trying to think of like... Oh, I fall. <laughs> Jeez, dick. Don't you mock my uprightness. <laughs> just because I'm good at standing and... He mutes the mic. They must never know. <laughs> my, my superpower is I can never Balance. fall. You're like a terrible version of Bruce Willis from Unbreakable. <laughs> I can stand perfectly on buses and subways without holding on to anything. That's a pretty good that's a pretty good superpower. It's not. It, um, it's it's, not. You know, it's better than what we currently have. That's true, so which I, is none. I, I, <laughs> so I'm gonna come at it from that way. Um so t- I'm going to say, I'm going to go with in Halloween. This isn't me falling, but I tried to, uh, there was a playground and there, I was a Halloween parade and I wanted to get a picture by trying to climb into a okay. tree. Do you know what year this was? Like oh, this, this was this Halloween? year. Oh, okay. Um, you tried to climb a tree this year? <laughs> yeah. Well, he's trying to get, take pictures of a parade. Are you not listening? <laughs> it's New Moon City. He's living his life. Look, I'm... I'm not saying you can't live your life, but like... Oh, you got nine hours to talk about Arya Stark's side boob. Al's telling a story <laughs> for ten seconds. Checked out. I didn't check out. Oh, boy. I didn't check out. No, no, he's What asking. I'm saying is there's other ways to get a picture mm. no, than climbing man. into a tree. I there... think he tried those ways, too. I didn't have my tripod. <laughs> Were you with anybody? No, it was me alone. I was a lone wolf. Okay, because this... I was going to say, you are svelte enough to where I would just be like, hop up on my shoulders, bud. That's true. That's <laughs> true. Oh, my you do goodness. You have the frame. <laughs> it's lovely here. <laughs> like the scene in, in A Knight's Tale. <laughs> Papa, when I grow up, I want to be a knight. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for anybody who actually has an accent. <laughs> Because that was terrible. <laughs> just in general. Just, just accents in oh, general. Oh, That's how bad that was. That's when you know a joke is good because you get me with the whooping cough laugh. <laughs> oh man, that was some funny shit. I call it projectile laughing. Oh my god. Oh um, man. Uh, all right, so you were climbing a tree, sir, and you, it's the streets of New Moon City, um, and it is Halloween night, I and was, there's a parade going on. I, I try. All right, there was a metal fence, like a wrought mm-hmm. iron metal fence, where you could like stick your feet in between it, kind of. Yes. So I tried to. I pushed my back against the tree, and then my feet on the metal bars, and I tried to. I jumped up, and then I tried to shimmy my, my way into the tree. But oh, and in that moment, did you say you can do it? Put your back into it? <laughs> no, I did not. I Uh-oh. should. I should have. I, I missed an opportunity for sure. You did. Um, but yeah, I couldn't get up there, and I I think my 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 like ankle didn't twist hard, but twisted a little bit when I was trying to push up on those bars. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, Later on, I got some uh, some uh, some uh, street water on my socks. And that wasn't fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had no idea where that sentence was gonna go, and I was hanging on the edge of those summers. <laughs> I got some uh, 
some uh, I'm like, what is he gonna say? What the fuck is he gonna say? Street water, Street water on, my on my socks. Ah! <laughs> Street water on your socks is terrible. It was. But not... did you fall out of the tree? No. I just okay. wasn't no, able. No, he slightly so... twisted his ankle. That was the end of the story. Right. He but wasn't... the question was, I know. when is the time when you fell down? <laughs> so I'm a little confused. I told you, I told you this wasn't the, me falling. He's pitching a perfect game. This was me. The best he can offer is a little ankle discomfort on his non-dominant side. And some wet sock juice. It's New Moon City. But I was upright that whole motherfucking day. <laughs> it's Halloween. I ain't touching the ground. That's hot lava. I was expecting, like, oh, I twisted my ankle, and then, oh, I fell out of the tree, and I, like, hit my ass real hard. Nope. I was twisting my ankle, and then I was in the tree. <laughs> no. Did you I, get the pictures? I did not get in a tree, um, but I uh, I just gave up on it. Uh, no, I, I got some pictures. I went further. I'll, I'll send you some. In the mail. Okay. There, oh, some of them are um, available on the Facebooks. That's true. I don't think Matt uses the Facebooks. No, that's, that's true. He doesn't like Mark Zuckerberg ever since that movie came out. <laughs> I love that movie. I know. It's a great movie. It made I me just, like Mark Zuckerberg a little bit. I just like the... Of course. You know who didn't to. make me like Mark Zuckerberg? Mark Actual Zuck- Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actual robot Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. <laughs> he is... He is... The reason why I believe believe in lizard people a little bit, a little li- like a tiny little bit. You're like fucking There's Joaquin like, Phoenix huh. and signs. Hmm. I mean, like I don't know, cause that's crazy. Cause people are people, and, and like you just people see his eyes like, blink no, sideways. Man. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> At least that one. I'm not just going to go waving this around, but, like, that one for sure. <laughs> Nobody else saw that? <laughs> Nobody? Okay. I mean, you you can't tell me you don't feel the same way. No. Oh, he's 100% either... He's a lizard person. He's one... Uh, I've seen several theories. He's an android. Uh-huh. Uh, he... Uh, like the little girl from Us is one of the others <laughs> mm. <laughs> that switched places. Man, wait, who is this? Okay, Mark, Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. Oh Jesus! Yeah, and actually, since we said his name in unison, we just need to do it one more time with three people, and, we and we'll summon, summon him. <laughs> we'll summon him. <laughs> I don't want to summon him. He won't look favorably upon me. That's true. But someone has to open Facebook and enchant. <laughs> oh God! But then you have to provide like. Thing like secrets, and then he's like, "Okay, I'll give you a wish." I don't. Yeah. I don't like Mark. You know, I get it. I understand that. Uh, I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> but I have heard this old ghost story that if you go to MySpace dot com in incognito mode, set your browser to dark, mm-hmm. and then you say, "Tom, Tom, oh no." Tom, oh no, he'll appear. Ooh, and then he'll add you to his top eight for four hours. What? Oh, shit. So that's pretty cool. Does he look like he does in that picture? Yeah, just ah. oh wow, <laughs> that's really that's really surprising. He won't appear like in front of you. He'll appear behind you, like wheeled around in the chair. Yeah, like hey bud, thanks for coming to my site. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking image of him is like imprinted on my brain forever. Oh yeah. Like, if I was abducted by aliens, it'd probably be, like, family members. Like, like the things that they would project for me to trust and right. stuff. And, like, it's unfortunate how high Tom would rank, would rank for me. I just, my, I remember being on MySpace for all of it. Oh, man. It was everything. <clears throat> yeah. You would edit the, the uh, there were the editors that came out that let you, like, change the background color yeah. and fucking embed music videos and shit. Man. It was wonderful. But we just sound so, so old right now. Why? Uh, we do. Because it's an old thing. Whatever. It took place in the past. Um, well, I, I don't know if you checked out. And that's what out, makes stuff old. <laughs> I don't know if you checked out the comments this week, but there are a lot of people who have heard of... Uh, 
uh, stitches or switches. Apparently. It switches. We so fucked that up. Like I fucked that I up. I think it's I, a dialect thing because I've heard get a stitch before. I've heard get a stitch, but it's definitely switch. Especially in the Boondock Saints, they say the word switch. It's not stitch. Um, so we absolutely got that incorrect. And the more common term is 100% a switch. Yeah, sure. So we want, we definitely got that wrong. But people have, people still know about switches. I hope so. Uh, they might know about MySpace. I don't know. That's true. We're going to have redactions every episode now. This is a new segment, everyone. <laughs> so we have, that means we, we have to get something wrong every episode. Yes. As if we weren't. As if we fucking weren't the whole time. <laughs> Not a damn chance. Uh, we were. N- we've never been wrong. Uh, oh, here we go. Um, <laughs> that's, you, that's you. Did you know um, <laughs> Tom was actually um, uh, computer generated? True fact. Who? What? To- he, uh, Tom. Who? Tom. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. He's a. He's a. He's. A, he's a computer person. Or totally. Computer generation? That's a hundred percent complete fact. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. I you know, usually when people tell me facts, they don't have to follow it up with, that is a 100% complete fact. fact. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'm... you like to say it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> For a little clarification. Mm-hmm. Clarification, as clarification. Peter Rosenberg would say. Yeah. I give him credit. No, I'm I'm angry at, at Rosenberg. <laughs> For being For one of those guys? Yeah. That's his, that's his thing. He loves it's so, but it's usually words like that end like that, so you can do like a clarification, like in an Asian. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? So uh, my falling down story, uh, much quicker story. Saich and I are cleaning out the garage. This is not the most recent time I've fallen down. Okay. I'm pretty clumsy as well. Uh, this is just a funny time that I fell down. This is probably five years ago. So I'm a 25 year old man. <laughs> this is taking place. We're cleaning out the, the garage. And um, I am climbing down from the loft where we have like the totes and whatnot. Uh, you can picture it. The totes. <laughs> the totes. They say Christmas, and some of them don't is, say is Christmas. Is this in the shed or not in the shed? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> <laughs> Some of them don't. <laughs> and, and, uh, That's really uh, all of the things in the world you can get put into those two categories. That's true. Either it says Christmas or it doesn't. <laughs> and I nailed it. <laughs> uh, and I'm climbing down on the ladder. And uh, uh, we've got like a, uh, there's a pull up bar that my dad put up a hundred years ago. But since he did it that long ago, it's amazing that. You know, it's lasted, but it's also very sturdy. Okay. And I like put my hand on it and I thought I had like two or three rungs to go on the ladder, but I was actually on the last step. Oh. So when I like hopped up to um, like swing on the the, the pull up bar, (laughs) my feet just immediately clapped on the floor and I was so startled that... (laughs) I was so startled by, that I hit the floor so quickly that I just immediately collapsed. I just went out. And the, and the ladder fell with me and then kind of on me and me kind of on it. Oh, and God. And I'm a big guy, so the, the shirt immediately up. Uh, of course. Immediately up, so the whole belly is See, out. that's why you got to be naked. <laughs> <laughs> and Sight just standing at the face of the garage you know, where the door is and he's just he couldn't help but laugh like he's uh, he's i don't think he's uh, i think he's made like two fat jokes my entire life and i don't think it was about you being fat no, no no but he could not help but laugh at like it's a big guy's tummy came out but also it just looks so silly and he actually says he goes how did you fall? <laughs> That's what I think he was laughing at. Yeah. It's that you were startled by ground. Oh my god! It was so. I just immediately collapsed, and I and I just we both started laughing. It was so funny, and my ribs hurt so bad because the ladder. But I was fine, and uh, yeah. <laughs> That was that was it. We got we finished putting everything away. Oh my god! <laughs> the one constant we have is that there is ground beneath us. Yes, 
but yeah. it's found a way to sneak up on you. If <laughs> <laughs> listen, I was undone by myself. I, you know, I always stood on my own. Hey man, I tripped on underwear. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you stayed banana peeled yourself. I, did. I can't. Oh, I can't talk shit. But that's amazing. It's such a. Oh, fun. You know what we need? We need some fan art of uh, those experiences. Al twisting his ankle in a fence or like a fan art of uh, <laughs> Matt in the nude. <laughs> but oh, I want all, I want that little black bar in all of these around the you know the erogen, erogenous zones. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I want it to go very like Renaissance and just have a little leaf over my, Ooh, over my uh, delicates. <laughs> but like he's of course got to be mid air because he has banana peeled himself on right. on his underwear. <laughs> Yeah, please make that. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's me in a uh, pile of Christmas decorations and a ladder. A clattered ladder. With my belly with my you. belly out. <laughs> I see all of these being very renaissance. <laughs> just like you sprawled out. And then you just see like a side keeled over or leaning back fully <laughs> extended with laughter. Just <laughs> almost like Joker-esque. <laughs> Oh my god. But speaking of fan art, Al has a wonderful gift for us today. That's right, everybody. We've got some uh wonderful two gifts. Wonderful what? Wonderful two gifts. Ooh. Dude, spoilers. That's right, everybody. We got some fan art. That's essential. I liked it. I liked it a lot. All right. Um. <laughs> it's hard to make Forrest Gump sexy. It didn't. It didn't Gump. feel right. Here comes a gun. I wanna hump you, Jenna. Oh, oh no! God. Oh, oh sir. God. sir, sir, no. It's, what? I, I may not be a smart man, Jenna, <laughs> but I know. Uh, this one is from J. Chris Paul. <laughs> I was like, no, we're done with that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a classic J. Chris Paul um, pa- oh. painting. Let's see. J. Chris Paulington. Uh, and that is the RLF crew versus my Fallout crew. Oh, shit. Ripped and dipped. This is awesome. Oh, man. Look at that. We got Saichi Boy, Matt in the background. Oh, look at me. I look so... F- <laughs> I look so astute. You, you're, with my you look glasses. like a professor, Nikolai. I do. I do look like a professor. <laughs> professor and I, like, I love that you're holding a microphone. We got some Reggie Taters action Hell in there. Hell yeah. That's pretty great. And then, um, let's see. Saichi Boy, tell him. Is, is Saichi squatting? I already said that. Is he squatting, though? <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah, he's, squatting. Taking a, he's, just, he's taking a duke on him. Oh, I know. I hope not. Um, I'm gonna be <laughs> taking a duke on those fools. I'm gonna be honest, guys. Um, uh, I think we're gonna die, all of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, you got you got ball arms over there. You got is it Mr. Cuddles? Mr. Cuddles. Plus, uh, my character has a gun. Not that we're ending the yep. episode, but you know, we wouldn't even be there in the first place. That. <laughs> That's true. That is absolutely true. <laughs> I think Nikolai has an old timey musket. I th- is, Which, it, is it a pool cue or is it a musket? I was leading towards pool cue. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes more like sense. Like you brought a weapon. Like you, you were like, let's do this. I love that Matt's arms are crossed. Like, mm, I don't want to participate. <laughs> I don't like fighting. I this is stupid. <laughs> yeah. Is that like, a cricket? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, my face. Ah! Is that an enormous cricket? <laughs> Man. This is awesome, Jay Chris Paul. Jay Chris Paul. Al, if you could grow that mustache, like that enormous handlebar mustache in real life, would you? I don't know. I don't know if I would just look goofy. Hmm. Jay Chris Paul, you are a wonderful artist. Yeah, Jay Chris Paul. And this is fantastic. Great to hear from you, bud. Yeah. Wonderful artist, stand up guy. Oh, yeah. We always said it. Just a real handsome gentleman, too. Just, just... On the inside and out. Oh, what a beautiful... fucking sexy. <laughs> yeah, whoa. <laughs> whoa. 
Um, and our other fan art today is from Captain Smiles. And this is a co- this is a little comic. It reads top to left. Um, if you guys want, I can read. Or if, yes, please. Uh, the first panel. Uh, you guys good? You're looking at it? Yes, we are. Uh, mm-hmm. First top panel is a quiet morning. Someone sleeping in the bed. Uh, then outside on the second panel, there, it's, it's the morning. The sun's rising. And the third panel, mm-hmm. there is a... Uh, what is that? Oh, there's a that's a, a chicken sleeping. It's a chicken sleeping oh. up close, and then I'll the fourth the panel, uh, the eyes of the chicken opens, and in the middle the sun says, mm-hmm. "Just, just get it over with," and then the chicken goes, Rrr. just. Oh wait, no. Rrr. How did how did that chicken sound? And uh, then I hear whoever hears that chicken sound wakes up, and in the middle, um, I guess it, it is me, maybe, because uh, I someone's saying it's time to milk the chickens, and <laughs> you know that's true. You gotta time milk to them milk chickens. chickens. You gotta milk them chickens. You gotta milk them chickens. You gotta milk them chickens. Welcome to RLF. You gotta milk them chickens. <laughs> Oh, the beautiful uh, sounds of a chicken to wake me up in the morning. Oh, That's everything you, I wish for. Could you imagine getting to wake up every morning? To, uh, uh, just a beautiful symphony of... Uh, <laughs> it hurts my throat so much to do. It's, 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 it's bad. It's so funny, though. <laughs> I, I, th- I, I think I would... Um, I might enjoy it, maybe. Maybe for like a week. Uh, <laughs> it would, just a week? It would genuinely make you laugh the first couple days. Right. And then the first day that it didn't make you laugh, it would make you go like, huh, that's weird. I didn't laugh. And now it's annoying. And then, you're like, yeah. <laughs> and then the next day you'd be like, oh, fuck that chick. This is my life now. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take much for like people to get over stuff. Yeah, that's, that's, tr- that's very true. Or annoyed with stuff. It's pretty... Yeah, I mean, it's a su- subject of the a- day we're in. Our attention spans are or- are short. It's true because there's so many options. So our tolerance for things that annoy us is shorter. Mm. Makes sense. Yeah, take that. Oh, ass people, Matt, you're so fucking smart. I'm the smartest man who's ever lived. Who, who made that second fan art again? What's up now? Uh, Captain Smiles. Captain Smiles. That was it. I am so happy. That people enjoy the chicken noise. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken and the bear both will make me laugh every time. Yeah. Chicken and the bear. The what? chicken and oh, the bear. Oh, fuck. That's a bear. Oh, shit. There's a fucking wild bear coming. <laughs> oh, there's two of them. I love when it's barely audible. <laughs> Like when, it's, when it's just a whisper of a meow and you're like, oh God, we're all going to die. Take the kids and run. It's the full blown revenant scene. Oh, my God. oh so funny. Um, so, um, oh, we were talking about something before we um, Hot started dogs. recording. Wasn't hot dogs. Actually, that is one of the things I thought you were going to say before when you were telling your New Moon City story. Oh, okay. When, when you said some, uh, some, uh, either you're going to go some, uh, hot dogs. I had some uh, hot dogs, uh, you know. I, I, cause that is a delicious thing to eat. Uh, but I, that's not what you said. You said street water. <laughs> <laughs> and in New Moon City, there's a hot dog vendor every three feet. Yeah. It's, yeah. Wall. It's whether you want them to be there or not. Mm-hmm. You got to push so them out many of the people way. trying to push wieners into your face. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you're reminds late. me of high school. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> uh, we had different experiences in high school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't remember the wieners thing. Man, were you trying football to... initiation? Huh? Anywho, I played football. <laughs> oh, you never got the wiener stuff? No. Oh. Oh, you try no. it out. <laughs> I gotta go talk to somebody. <laughs> oh, man. Are you trying out for the the Nathan's uh, fucking contest on Fourth? Oh fuck my! 
Fuck that joke. <laughs> a stupid joke. Oh, I wish I had a car crash oh, sound bite right God. now yeah. that I could just open and Anthony play for you. Just, oh, ah! man. <laughs> you know, and the worst part is that I set it up a couple of times because you kept talking. And I was like, oh, this is going to be good. I couldn't wait to say it. I fucked it up. What are you for the... Uh, Training Nathan's uh, for the eating. <laughs> you need hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. This is your problem. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh my god. Wow. All right. So uh, before the before the uh, podcast, we were talking about how I don't fuck with horses. Yeah. I just don't. Just don't do it. You, there was there was a video we had Tosh on for a second, and there's just. A young lady getting just whipped around by a horse, and then the horse falls over on its side, and it's like, oh no, that's probably devastating. I mean, that was so. To be fair, that is on the mom. Yeah, I because mean, that's a race horse. Race you put horse. a small person like a jockey <laughs> onto it, and the kid yeah. starts leaning forward, and they don't know how to ride horses, mm-hmm. which is you lean backwards in order to get them to slow up. Okay. Lean forward means go faster. Gotcha. So the kid was just doing it wrong and shouldn't have been on that type of horse. But at the same time, I get it. They're massive creatures. They're fucking dinosaurs. They're just, they're too big. It doesn't make sense to me. See, I don't, I don't put them in the dinosaur category. Well, like, all right. So elephants are dinosaurs to me. Rhino, rhinos. Rhinos and elephants. Yeah. If you weigh like more than a ton, that's ridiculous. <laughs> like I get it if you're in the ocean, but like, and even that humpback whales, they're fucking dinosaurs, right? Look, it's yeah. okay. That's crazy shit. If if you're over a no. ton and you're in the ocean, you're fine. But if you're in land and you are over a ton, you gotta change what your lifestyle. Fuck? All right, animals. Uh huh. Giraffes, how how did you happen? <laughs> well, the trees are tall. See, oh boy, oh you, yeah. uh, I don't trust it. <laughs> Mammal-looking dinosaurs. <laughs> it's like that explanation for why giraffes evolved that way. Uh-huh. I'm like, oh yeah, why didn't other fucking herbivores dickheads Just stretch their necks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You think they're the only ones? That's crazy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> there's other yeah. herbivores. Do you think that there's like this weird, like, giraffe uh, backstory where they're just like super horrible and just killing other giraffes and stuff that don't have like oh, long God. necks? <laughs> just slaughtering the short necked ones. Oh. <laughs> They're just and they're like terrible dicks about it. Oh man, the short necks must die. <laughs> In the year twenty five, twenty five, twenty five. Oh my god, future giraffes will have enslaved humankind. <laughs> oh yes. Oh man. I have never ridden a horse. Mm-hmm. I have only been around. Like actually, I've only actually I've fed a horse a couple times twice. In my life. And both times, I was just astonished by how enormous they are. They're massive beasts. They're, it's just so crazy. The apple disappeared. <laughs> just two sounds, oh. like two crunching sounds, oh. and that was it. There was no more apple. I was like, dude, if you took my hand, it'd be gone. <laughs> like, that's crazy. If you headbutted me, I'm dead. But I mean, very rarely does an incident like that occur because but horses bite gentle- all the time. Are you nuts? No, they're not really. Stop biting them. No, broken like- horses don't. Broken oh. horses are like dogs. Oh, okay, that's true. You said broken horses, so like wild horses. Yeah, you can get bit. Don't go near a wild fucking horse. Yeah, I don't want to go near a broken horse. Yeah, then you turn to a wild dog. You turn to a horse vampire. Oh, that's oh, true. That a shit's... horse wolf. Horse wolf. No, no <laughs> Not a werehorse. <laughs> but a horse instead wolf. a horse wolf. <laughs> a werehorse. Horse wolf. Oh, man. Well, that'd be a great D&D character. Ooh. A werehorse? A werehorse. Oh, my God. Hmm. Occasionally, I t- that's just a druid. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Um, have you ever ridden a ho- horse, Al? Uh, yeah, a few years ago, I rode one in, uh, because my sister, she used to visit horses a lot. 
Oh, okay. Did you twist your ankle? No, but... Oh, okay, good. <laughs> but the lady kept telling me, she's like, you got to tell that horse to stop. You got to be more stern about it. And I was like, all right, I'll try. And you got to yell at the Did horse. You, uh... you say, stop, bro. Don't go on the road. Were you successful? I was. <laughs> that would have been horrible if I wasn't. <laughs> so you were you were like, hey, hey, back the fuck up. Hey, horse. Horsey. And the, stop and the horsey doing. was like, all right, and back the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, basically. All right, good. We should all. I feel g- like no matter like no matter where or when I was riding a horse, I would revert to <laughs> like just wild west. Like, Whoa! <laughs> hey now, <laughs> you'd immediately get like some spur. You don't have spurs on. No. You'd immediately start acting and walking as if you did, <laughs> and they were like making that sound. I'd make the sound. <laughs> <laughs> you know, most people don't ever wear those. And why are you? Yeah! <laughs> oh Jesus! How silver away! You're like no, what? No, don't <laughs> don't do any of what you just did. It's not what this is about. You don't like horses. <laughs> this person is very intimate with my feelings on horses. Apparently, this fictitious person <laughs> that I didn't give a different voice to. So at no point was anyone going to be aware of what I was doing. Jokes. Are hard sometimes. They are. <laughs> the more you I'm know. very tired. <laughs> my uh, my brother used to work at a farm on the island when he was way younger. Mm-hmm. So there's pictures of me out there with like horses and shit. Oh, know, all right. And bulls. Wait, on a I'm farm? Too, you're on, you're on a farm? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. My family actually used to go out there and hang out and my sister would ride horses and shit. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. That's pretty cool. Dougie had a cool job in high school. <laughs> then he just quit that job? or Well, he went off to college. Oh. Uh, and then he was like, yeah, I'm done at the farm. Yeah. So. Off to and college. By that time, I was older. Yeah, it's you can't always farm. <laughs> <laughs> you can't Oof. just be farming. <laughs> you are tired. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't can't always farm. farm. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a title, name of the title. Yeah, the that is true. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Um, well, um, do we want to um, do? Let's hear Tommy Gun sing again, because I would like to go over the comments from last. All week. right. The videos on YouTube have a place called the comment section where people can type out. Our felt and thoughtful reflections of the videos they just watched Like here at our left on Wednesdays Now the gang will read a few It's really hard to rhyme the word Wednesdays Beautiful I just fucking danced my little heart out Yeah? I just wanna dance with you And pretend that climate change isn't real <laughs> Though it definitely <laughs> is <laughs> It's a good video, what everyone. Video Check it out. Uh, that is a song called I Just Want to Dance With You by a uh, very talented artist, Benny Davis. Mm-hmm. Benny Davis. It's, uh, he is. What's the uh, lady from, uh, uh, I don't know, three th- Char- old lady Charlie Angels that live in a house together. What's that show called? Old lady. It's Betty White, and you're thinking of Golden, Golden Girls. Girls. There it is. And B. Arthur was there, and two other women were there. I should know their names, but I cannot think B. of them. B. Arthur, right. no. Betty White, and those other ladies. I, I know one of them is named Blanche. I never watched Golden Girls. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I think we missed we missed what? some some good times. We should watch it next time. I I I know a lot of people who are just a couple of years older than us really love that show a lot. Oh. But I never I never watched it. Just because I listen to a lot of podcasts, so I hear huh. them talk. About Interesting, it. I did not yeah. know that. I oh, never yeah. really yeah. watched it either. All right, that and like Cheers. Is Cheer- that Cheers? shocking? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Cheers, Frasier. Oh yeah, I watched those. Yeah, really? I Cheers. watched. I watched. We've had this conversation. Watch the shit out of Cheers, man. Yeah, we've we've talked about this. Um, um, so you got some. Comments? It's time to do comments. 
I do not I do. have my phone in front I of me, I do as well. I have some comments. Let's just read one of the Stitch Switch comments. We yes. Can, yeah. <laughs> yes, I'll read one. Um, um, so, we got... Uh, official paralytical here. Uh, it's not a Stitch, it's a Switch. Ooh. Are you sure y'all know what it is? Think y'all need a whooping with the stitch? <laughs> got and, us. Uh, you you got us on that one. Official paralytical. No, I'm going to say he didn't. <laughs> I mean, he threw in the y'all and everything. <laughs> we got it wrong. Um, I also like this comment here from Tyler Jandrasik. Arla finally tackling the N word. Three hundred episodes in, <laughs> I one hundred percent believe that Al may never have ha- may have never even said the word in the comfort of his own mind. Ooh, I imagine he just reads <laughs> the word as N word and then thinks to himself, "Oh dear." <laughs> <laughs> I have never been sh- more sure of something in my life. That is one hundred percent factual. <laughs> Al has never even thought the word before. I believe that that's true. <laughs> it's true. I, I have a medical condition. It's very dangerous. It, why would it be dangerous? Because it's it's some uh, it's that one word. For, I can't I can't even think of it. I mean, if it's or otherwise, he'll have a stroke. Yeah. If it's just the one. Oh, jeez. I'm then stroking it, out, y'all. <laughs> That's what I am going to say, so it'll be Who's a good throne? joke. I can't remember. This weekend. That's oh, right. Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they didn't say that on Game of Thrones, everybody. By <laughs> the way. Like, we said it while watching Game of Thrones. Yes, that is, that's what happened. <laughs> um, oh, Game of Thrones. Uh, I do have... Do you have any you like? What now? Go, uh, go ahead. Um, I, I've got one here from Conspiracy. Oh, all right. We haven't heard from Conspiracy in a while. What's yeah, up? Conspiracy says, guys, my life's taken a drastic turn. Very mixed up and emotional, but here's the good news. I have internet okay. again. So uh, if y'all ever want to do that Gator Swamp thing, hint, goofy face, love you goofs, keep making life better. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was kind of time sensitive. Was it? So, no. No, <laughs> no, no. We're still down. <laughs> Just like fucking with our listeners for like a split second. <laughs> Yeah, because then I blow it up. Because I'm bad at jokes tonight. <laughs> or every night. I don't know. I don't know where no, you're like, no. you're, you're hard on yourself. That's true. That's true. I bet like 300 out of 1,000. <laughs> hey, that's, you're in the major leagues with that. <laughs> that's true. Uh, what was I going to say? Conspiracy. Uh, I'm really glad that you have internet again. That's yeah. wonderful. And I hope that you've been li- able to listen and catch up on anything you missed. Uh, not even just on this podcast. I'm sure there's plenty of other content that you were missing out on. Uh, and then I hope that things get better for you. Definitely. I, yeah. I, get on that better train. Your good thoughts. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Get on that better train. Yeah. I mean, I think it leaves at 5.15 p.m. <laughs> usually. but People all over the world. What? John Hand, okay. get on the better train, better what? train. He said, "Is it better train? <laughs> There's a better train. Is it more money? It- I was here for the love train. <laughs> um, Do they have nicer cars? Why is it better? No, it's just the the way to path to better. Oh, so I don't have to pay more money though. Yeah, no, you do. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I knew. <laughs> There's always more money. Uh, and uh, I I have one more comment here, uh, at least on my end, that I wanted to get okay. to. Uh, Johnny two times. Johnny. So, are we just never going to address the fact that Nikolai won the Deadpool from like two years ago with Stan Lee? Uh, yeah, we're not. We don't have to talk about it. Y'all owe this man some money. <sighs> I mean, Johnny two times... Thank you for bringing it up. It has been weighing heavily on my mind. I think about it daily. Oh my god! I'm sorry, Nikolai. Yeah. No. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, actually, I did have the thought uh, the first time we recorded after he had passed away, Mister uh, Stanley Lieber Lieberman. I'm pretty sure that's Lieberman. What his actual name was. I don't know. I suck. It was I Stanley. Should, it was Stanley. 
Uh, anyway, <clears throat> I've actually started recently reading uh, the, his original run of Fantastic Four. And? Uh, I mean, I've only gotten through the first two issues, but it's great. Uh, he created the Skrulls in the second issue. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And they were like appearance changing aliens, like as, off the jump. Like, I, I don't know. It was, you know what else is really cool? I started reading comics in 2012, and um, so a lot of modern stuff doesn't use narration very heavily. And old comics, it was all about get as ma- many words in there as you can because you got to jam these books full because, you know, people are reading them. Right. Um, and paper's expensive. Yeah, it's true. Mm-hmm. And Stan would like, it's just his narration, it just. As intended, it sounds, it feels as if he's talking to me. You know, and that's what it's supposed to feel like as right. the reader. It's just, it's so cool. Uh, hmm. it's, it's, it's really nice. I, um, I, I'm interested to know, is it like, do you find it more campy? Oh, it's campy as fuck. And it's sometimes <laughs> boring. It's a lot of saying what's happening. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> like as dialogue. <laughs> Yeah, because you got to have them... Say, and there's so much art. There are so many panels, each page. It's crazy. It's so different the way comics have changed. Because i got to imagine stuff now is just like... Everything is bordering on like dark and, and gloomy all the Very time. Very much so. I mean, for the most part, the books I, on my pull list are... Batman, Justice League, Walking Dead, Die, Die, Die. I mean, it's all darker stuff. That's what I usually like reading. Um, I'll occasionally pick up a different indie book if something catches my eye. I uh, I have one here from either Drake. He says, DMX definitely smokes crack. I don't want to be thrown out definitely on the big dog. <laughs> <laughs> the big dog. That is true. He does watch these videos. <laughs> He's an avid RL effort. Yes. He he doesn't he doesn't miss a uh, he doesn't miss an episode and and he likes to post in his like his ho- homemade hussies t shirt. Yeah. yeah, it's a uh, he's great know, friend. Man. He's a great fan. Found out some shit about X recently. I was like, oh uh, no. Uh-oh. Uh oh. They raided his house. Found Uh-oh. like a bunch of dogs, uh, like twenty four or something dogs. Oh, shit. Found three partially buried dog bodies. It looked like one had been burned. Fuck. And fucking all same Rottweil- shit Michael Vick was doing. All Rottweilers and pit bulls and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, most yeah. likely. I mean. Yeah, fuck. That sucks. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So. Yeah, fuck DMX. <laughs> arr, arr. <laughs> oh, no. Just remember, it's, it's dark and hell's hot, motherfucker. Ugh. <laughs> That's just... I don't... Uh, I don't know what to say. Yeah, no, it's I awful. don't get it. Yeah, I, I felt bad bringing it up, but I don't people get it know. at all. It's just a, a thing with a certain population, like of people of it's people. Just, yeah, it, it's, a it's, like, it's not a race thing. I know tons of of uh, black people who love dogs. It, it, it's not a race thing. It's just there's a certain group of violent people who just love to watch. Dogs brutalize each other, and especially it's like, the why? Um, the Camarians. The, the what? The Camarians. The Camarians. Yeah, those those fuckers love seeing dogs hurt. Fucking Camarians. Fucking Camarians. Uh, the, uh, where are the Camarians from? <laughs> oh, you know, dude. Not Camarians. Dog. Yeah, they're from right over there, Camaria. Oh, what? Uh, what's their main export? Stuff. Import things. I knew it. I knew you were gonna say things. I was like, I I knew you were gonna say it, but I just had to test the hypothesis and uh, make sure. You know what? I was either gonna go with things or other stuff. <laughs> other stuff would have been good. Too. Yeah, other stuff would have been better than things. Too predictable. How could I forget about the Chimerians? Yeah, <laughs> you could never forget about the Chimerians. <laughs> forget about the Galgamax. <laughs> Oh my god, that's one of the funniest throwaway <laughs> South Park jokes of all time. I saw a post recently that made me a little sad, Uh-oh. but then I was like, huh, it's kind of true. It it was very, um, I don't know, whatever. It was it was a meme, and it was, uh, 
how did a generation raised on South Park and Family Guy become so sensitive to humor? <laughs> and I was like, wow. That's pretty funny. That's That makes sense. I mean, I yeah, South Park has been a very big part of my life. I I don't I I didn't watch it much in college, but I remember watching it in middle school, el- like elementary school, high school, and that, and now as but an adult. But we're not sensitive to humor. I mean, we definitely have our sensitive spots. I there's think shit, we have our there's shit that we're sensitive to that our parents probably would not have been. Oh yeah, but I mean. Our parents weren't watching shit like that. Our parents were watching shit like uh, fucking Archie Bunker. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you're, not, you're not wrong about that. But, yeah. I don't Where know. the punchline of the joke is, or I'll beat you, <laughs> wife of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Meathead. <laughs> I mean. Al is such an Archie off camera. Off oh, a, yeah. Yeah, when we're not recording. Oh, big racist. It's crazy. <laughs> He always calls me George, tells me to dance. I don't like it. Oh, no. I don't. Uh, yeah. Uh, you hear me, buddy. I got podcast balls. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I know you're just going to edit this out. <laughs> what? You don't want them to know the truth about you, Al. That you're a real Archie Bunker type. It's true. He's like, yeah, go ahead. Move on up to the east side, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to dance. He's like, do it. Dance for your podcast, Lord. <laughs> We're it's all weird. gonna be dancing. He makes us call him podcast lord. Yeah, it's exactly. not I have um that... like a little bubble thing I go into before the podcast starts. <laughs> <laughs> Sit there and wait. <laughs> like the thing Vader was in? Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, you know. To give me energy or whatever. <laughs> maybe he was maybe, or whatever. maybe he was just searching the internet. It's it true. A VR set in there. He's just thumbing around the internet for some weird porn. <laughs> He's into like wife share stuff, amateur only. <laughs> amateur only <laughs> wife share. <laughs> He's very, he's very into it. And Boyer. <laughs> Loves to watch. The, the Dark Lord knows his kinks. <laughs> he knows what gets him going. <laughs> Don't kink shame me. <laughs> that was not bad. <laughs> that actually reminds me. I recently um, watched the Lion King trailer. Mm-hmm. And... I'm pretty sure they got. Did they? I, I'm not. Oh, I think they got James Earl Jones back. I think they did as well. But like, they didn't get Jeremy Irons to play Scar. And I know that Jeremy Irons is not as well respected as James Earl Jones, nor should he be. And his voice is not as legendary. But Scar was Scar. Like because his, of Jeremy Irons. Exactly. <laughs> it did not sound right. To he- I heard Mustafa, and then I didn't hear Scar. Mm. Now, I understand that everybody else is being done by different voice actors, and I'm super excited about Beyonce, just like everybody else. Like, I don't give a shit. Can't wait for Queen B. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, all the single lines. All the single lines. Oh, all the single lines. <laughs> <laughs> now put your hands up. Um, so I... Yeah, <laughs> I was, it kind of turned me off a little bit. I was like, ooh, that's not what Scar sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this movie is being made for me. So I, I think they're going to change it, which I'm pretty excited about. But uh, if they don't change it, they're they're wrong and stupid. Then we're- I think getting James Earl Jones back, if you're not going to bring back any of the other cast, is a huge mistake. Well, who else from the original cast would you have brought back then? Because where do you draw the line? I feel like those two characters are so pivotal and those two voices are so distinct. And they're also not in a ton of the story. Yes, Scar is the majority of the third act, but like, I don't really say that much. No. He's just kind of being imposing. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) I want Nathan Lane back. See, uh, that's the first name that came to mind, too, was Nathan Lane's, but I'm a huge Broderick guy. Oh, is that who's uh, taking over? 
Well, no, Broderick is um, the voice of uh, adult Simba. Yes. And, yeah, like, the idea that somebody else is going to be Simba's voice is weird. So, like, but then you would end up having to cast the entire old movie, and that's not what they wanted to do. They get Cheech Marin back. <laughs> was Cheech Marin, it, what was he, one of the He's, hyenas? Yes, Bonsai. Yeah, it's one of the... <laughs> Interesting. I okay, I'm, I'm actually happy about that. <laughs> You're like, yeah, they could have skipped that one. I know Whoopi Goldberg's one of the other hyenas, and I do not know who the third one is. Hmm. Whoopi was one of the hyenas? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Rafiki is somebody, too. I don't remember who Rafiki is, but Rafiki's somebody. Rafiki, um, Robert Guillaume. Guillaume. I can't read. Okay. Robert Guillaume. Robert Guillaume. Oh, okay. G U I L L A U M E. That's how you spell my name. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it. If it if that's the name you're having. Uh, trouble Steve with. Goldberg did additional CGI animation. I'll tell you that much. Oh, I don't know okay. who Steve Goldberg Wonderful. is, but his undefeated streak in WCW was amazing. <laughs> I thought that was his brother, Bill. Oh, sorry, that was his brother, Bill. Yeah. He was a really super stiff wrestler and did Bret Hart's career early. Not very like flexible. Son of a bitch. Yeah, exactly. Not very flexible. Is right. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> so you earlier today you were bragging about this tweet you sent out? I wasn't bragging about it. You didn't shut the fuck up about it. You were I like, oh, I time. sent out the greatest tweet in the history of our life. I don't think I sent that out. Oh, boy. I got a big old <laughs> tweet dick, and I dropped it on the r Well, I, I do have a big old tweet foreheads. dick. I do, I do have a big old tweet dick. But I've been asking, uh, I've been asking questions to the uh, RLFers about uh, uh, Game of Thrones, and I'll be continuing to do so. Uh, Al, you had the chance to uh, sit in on this week's episode. What did you think? Yeah, it was fun. There was a lot of uh, uh, things going around, talking, <laughs> stuff happening. It's true. Next week's going to be a lot more stuff happening. And that's what I asked about today. I asked, uh, the battle for Winterfell is next week. Ooh. Oh, well, before we go forward, spoiler warning, I guess. Spoilers, we everybody. Spoilers end at 103.22. That's true. If you haven't watched, we might say something that could be a spoiler. You know, I don't know how long we're going to talk about this, but huge spoiler warnings, so. That's true. So... But if you haven't watched, go fuck yourself. Uh, <laughs> Battle for Winterfell is next week. Who makes it out alive? Wow, that's a huge question. Who that's a really alive? big question. So who who makes it out alive? Um, like not who's <clears throat> dying, who's living. I believe that Jamie Lannister will. <laughs> I don't know why I said his last name. No, I just love Al googling which characters are which. <laughs> I believe that he will sacrifice himself to save Brienne at some point during the battle. So I believe, and I believe that uh, Arya will earn his face by means of his death during the during the uh, the Battle of Winterfell. So that's the like the first one. Uh, that Grey Worm, I think, is going to die. Oh, hard. So quickly. <laughs> I think he's going to be the first. I think the first white is going to show up. And he is going to fall over because he didn't know what he's been like riddled with cancer, unfortunately. Oh like, God. that's how quickly he is going to die. <laughs> the idea that he would dare speak against Daenerys after everything. It just seems so obvious that his character is not going to make it. Uh, I, I, I agree with that sentiment. Uh, so does, uh, Brittany Walsh here. Oh, okay. What's up? At BKW2206 says, all the good ones will die and we'll be stuck with Jorah. Ugh, he's the worst. <laughs> J- Jorah Mama is the worst? Apparently, Brittany does not like Jorah. How dare you, Brittany? I mean, he is nowhere near the best. <laughs> How dare but you? he is not the worst. <laughs> That's a ridiculous idea. How could you even feel that way? It doesn't make any sense. He's super honorable. 
Like he's done nothing but serve the Khaleesi well. This, this is I, what 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 basis do you have for this nonsense? I didn't know this. This is going to be such a touchy subject. I didn't know that I was going to hear uh, so much ridiculous bullshit. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. damn! I'm sorry. I'm so I have. I'm sorry. I've I've gone too far. It's Whoa. It's just that your opinion is incorrect, and it offended me. And I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> for letting you know how I felt about it. <laughs> Brittany, thank you for your tweet. <laughs> um, Unknown Captain writes in. Okay. He says, uh, the people are all in the crypt where the dead bodies are, fighting an army who can bring back the dead. Ooh. So I'm going to say none of that lot. Oh, damn. As... Obvious as that sounds, I do not feel like that will be a problem. I liked your tweet because I think it's a good tweet, but I also disagree. Yes. Yeah. Um, We are both under the assumption that the the crypts are protected with magic. Correct? Super secret magic. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Super fucking secret magic. Yeah. So uh, I definitely don't think that... That is going to be a problem, but that is a very creative, or seems like an obvious idea. But nobody else has really floated that one out there. So, at least not that I've heard yet. <clears throat> what let's, about you? What do you think is going to die? Give us one uh, one character you think is not going to make it. Who's not going to make it? Yeah. Uh, hmm. <sighs> uh, Podrick. What? No way. Patrick's going down. Swinging. He's so good on the with the sword now. Exactly. He's showing other motherfuckers how to be a, a, like a trash, like a fucking swordsman. And he's going to see Brienne go out, and he's going to go out the same way. Ooh, that's how Knight does it right. He learned Jeez. everything he learned from her. Man, I mean, what if he lives though? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the other option, yeah. <laughs> Which one of the characters do you think is going to live? What'd you say, sorry? Davos. What a character that we think is going to live. <laughs> so Davos Seaworth makes it out of there. The Onion yeah. Knight never falls. Man, I would be shocked if the Onion Knight died. I really would be. <laughs> um, Let's see how good his Google Foo is. Al, who do you think is going to survive? I'm going to say um, uh, Theon. Okay. He's yeah. there. He, he is, is there. The, he's there. And he does have a good chance of surviving. Nah. No? He's done. <laughs> done. Jeez. Nah. Why do you? Because he's going to be Garden Bran. Great point. Totally forgot that that's what he's... He's definitely going to die. Theon is 100% going down. Oh, man. He's going to die. Watch he, out. He needs redemption for what he did. Put your bets up, So everybody. he's 100% going to die. <laughs> so we're saying no, he's not making it. Al's thinking he's making I'm it. I'm saying bring it Everybody, on. let us know what you think in the comments on Wednesday if you're watching. If not, the next few weeks are going to suck for you because they're all going to be Game of Thrones related tweets, y'all. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Dude, Game of Thrones is the best show on TV right next now. Hour, next episode, hour 22 minutes. My dick. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Jeez, man. Um, Nikolai, uh, I have a question for you. I would love to answer it. Did, um, did I leave some chicken parm in your refrigerator? I think you probably did. Oh, I 100% did. Not I, anymore, you didn't. And you even said, I, I hope I don't forget this because I really <laughs> don't. Like, I want to take it with me. There's um, there's also a little uh, chocolate egg there, in there. Oh geez. Yeah, well, you meal. may have some chicken parm left, but I never found any chocolate egg. Nope. <laughs> oh, that chicken egg got away. That it, that chicken egg did. It may get have away. hatched. It hatched. Oof. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are dating now. Oh, have you yeah. have you heard a little? Have you heard a little chicken walking around here like? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is that? Is it an engine starting? Like, it sounds uh, like a young chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> we have to do something about this. Yeah, you got to take that thing down. 
Put it out of its misery. Yeah, yeah. Put it well, I mean, I'll do it quick though. Like with a like a knife through the heart, like a big big boulder or something. I don't know. My shoulder's been kind of bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> a big boulder. <laughs> a big boulder, or something. I don't uh, know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you just went straight to Chip, Chipperson. I did. <laughs> my shoulders hurt. I don't know. I don't know about that. It's been bothering me. My rotator cuff. <laughs> I mean, um, the most obvious answer to take it out obviously is a harpoon well I don't have a harpoon Ooh. anymore what do you have well I lost Excuse my harpoon me. during my last fishing expedition oh okay. well, that, that was a special part. that was a family heirloom it was it you was, kept it telling was. me you were going out looking for that what was it white whale yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh god it was, I called it white whale <laughs> yeah but I never found it Wink. <laughs> <laughs> I actually winked at Matt, then realized they can't see me. And, yeah, was, and, then, and then said, the wink. Also, I couldn't see your wink because your eyes aren't really open at this point. <laughs> yes, they are. You don't know anything. <laughs> he was just talking at the back of his eyelids. Oh, man. He's so tired. My eyes are open. They're just closed most of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I don't know if you do this, but... When my eyes are resting mm-hmm. and like the uh, the lids droop, yeah, it's like a like a, it's a power level, like uh, you're oh, running on low battery. Mm. Like, That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty. Funny. And how how heavy your eyelids feel is how low the battery is. Oh, the battery is like ten percent. <laughs> like if you were to just relax your entire face right now and let your eyebrows drop, but oh, um, let your eyes drop, he, eyelids drop, Matt. See? Oh, God. Close. Oh, no. You're at like 3% battery. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. <laughs> oh, man. So, you know what I have to get for that chicken? What? A, a gun. <gasps> oh, well, yeah. then I'm leaving. What? Why? Because if uh, you have a gun, then I need a gun to defend myself. And if I need a gun, I don't want to be there. 